How does it feel to have a sister that has an OF? My friends always ask me if it's pink, but I don't really know what they mean by that. Do you, do you know? Oh, Jesus Christ. Click the link in my bio. Just, I can't. What am I even watching right now? Am I honestly watching a sister ask her younger brother if his friends know about her OnlyFans? And if her spaghetti is pink? Bruh, I'm telling you, every day, every year, we stray further away from God. Oh no! Cringe! So we probably all know by now, Gen Z and TikTok is probably the cringiest thing that has happened to modern life in a long time. You thought Andrew Tate was bad? Give a kid a phone or someone who has the IQ of my big toe and you're gonna get some cringe. Also as well, quick note guys, can you stop sending me videos of Aisho Speed getting his shmeet out on, on YouTube? It's not cringe, you're just sending me a video of someone getting their shmeet out, okay? I, I don't need to see it, it's alarming you guys, think to yourselves, Ben would love to see this video. Glad I got that out of the way, with all that being said, let's just watch some cringe. You know, I don't like to judge people, but in this kind of situation, I mean, come on. It's kind of hard not to. All right, I'm gonna be real. This type of content is straight up virgin material. The ultimate female race tier list, bruh. Up in the smash category, he has mixed and Latina. And then in the mid, he has white women. And then he has a category called ew, which is just black women. Straight up, bro, you need to go outside and talk to a real woman. I mean, straight up, if I was a woman and I was dating this guy and I find out he made this type of content, I would just be like, get your crusty ass, Mr. Potato Head looking face out of my life. You're one of those heroes, aren't you? Not anymore. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna say this the, the nicest way possible. Get a fucking job. <laughs> what is Come on, dude. Like, oh my god. Has flashbacks to my kitten in call, sleeping in call with another mod. I mean, I'm, I'm, if, if society collapsed tomorrow, these guys would be the first type of people to go. They would die. Oh man, that, that is too funny. <laughs> Discord mods. God, that's tickled me. I'm a terrible and all the things I do. Yeah, man, this is so relatable. I have never seen something which has hurt my concept of reality like this. That relatable moment when your girl farts and it literally blows your hair. I mean, he even puts, that one nearly blew me away. <laughs> what am I even watching? I mean, to have a stare like that and make content like this, this guy is clearly dead inside. <laughs> Say you are my baka. <laughs> Say you are my baka. <laughs> Say you are my baka. 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 I want to make something very clear before people run along with a joke, okay? I went out and found this clip. I was not in this live stream. I did not type, I'm your baka, okay? That is the last thing I need people thinking that I'm some simp. For whatever this is believe it or not if i was in a live stream and i was going to say something like that i would not say it to someone who is snorting on <laughs> come on oh, oh, oh god you're gooey aren't you oh wow what is this stuff though what's that thrush mm, that's quite nice <laughs> I don't mind that. I was watching this video on my phone and I think my mom was outside my room and I think she heard, God, you're gooey. And I'm not joking, I think she's packing my bags right now. I mean, if this video is satire, then what are you doing with your life posting this type of content on Twitter? Like, I don't want to make any assumptions, but bro, you literally look really creepy. And guys, if you want to send your medical bills for your therapist after seeing that video to me, you can. I will happily pay for it. This is going to be the best meat sniffing stick 
video that you have ever seen. I see a lot of stuff on the internet, but I'm gonna be real. This is probably the first I've ever seen content like this before. So let's let's keep watching. Oh, son of a bitch! That's good. Oh, mama. I mean, what do I even say? There really is content for everyone out there on the internet. I mean, I don't know who would be searching for this online. Who would honestly search in person sniffing meat stick? I mean, you'll probably come up with some alarming results now that I think about it. But this person's on TikTok and there must clearly be an audience for her if she thinks that this is a good idea to post. Played some party games with my girl last night and uh, things may have gotten a little bit crazy. I think I'm a little bit out of my depths, guys. Let's just say she knows how to rock it in the bedroom. And then you just got whatever this thing is saying, look like, <laughs> looks like it's your lucky night. I don't think the words lucky night and socks and flip flops inside have ever been in the same sentence together within the context of whatever he's saying right here. But Seriously, what the hell even is that? I swear, everything today is like considered stimming or you're like autistic in some way or another. I mean, if we're going off this logic, doesn't everybody then technically stim? I swear in like a couple of years, you're gonna have people who say like, if you walk and you breathe, you're stimming and you might be autistic. If you chew with your mouth closed, you, you might be autistic. I mean, not everything is stimming. I swear these people just want something wrong with them so they then can have something to talk about or not be seen as normal. Go outside, touch a tree, and grow your mind. Also, personally, if you take any medical advice off TikTok or diagnose yourself off TikTok, you immediately lose 50 IQ points. <laughs> If you react like this to anything in life in a public space, you need to get help. In what world is this any way to react? Yeah, getting your flight cancelled isn't ideal, but wailing like a banshee and having an exorcism in the airport isn't the correct way to respond to this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but I'm getting really tired of seeing like deep inside people's mouths. I mean, it just looks really uncomfortable. And anyway, this this video, dude, like seriously, who, who's this even for? I mean, unironically, you are you are dressed like a clown and you're acting like one. Am I being too mean in these videos? No, no, th these people need to hear this. But that's gonna be enough for today's cringe, guys. Honestly, that that Discord one. <laughs> That is, oh, that is really, that is really tickled me. When your kitten falls asleep in call with another mod. Oh, boy. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like it as it really helps me out and join the Gamer Virgin army. I hope you all have a wonderful day and didn't lose too many brain cells. I'll see you all next time.